Drop the gun, drop the gun. Tonight, we're getting a better look at the moments leading up to an officer-involved shooting in Raleigh. Good evening, I'm Marius Payne. I'm Angela Taylor. That shooting happened almost two weeks ago. RPD released the body cam footage today. Our Colleen Quigley got a good look at that video. She joins us live from RPD to break it all down. Colleen. Yeah, so this happened back on Sunday, May 19th. Firefighters were initially called out there for a medical call, but when they got there, they found Michael Hendricks Jr. armed with a knife, and he actually told the firefighters, according to a police report, that he would attack them. So that's when they called the police. Now, we want to make you aware of two things. We've obviously edited these videos for time, but also some of you at home might find this footage disturbing. As Officer C.T. Melichick pulls up to this Raleigh apartment complex, he's met by witnesses who tell him Michael Hendricks Jr. is armed. He is armed with a, with a knife and he's in the middle of the courtyard. A knife in the middle of the courtyard. Yes, the officer spends a few minutes looking for Hendricks before he goes back to the parking lot talking with witnesses when Hendricks appears with a gun. Is that him right there? Yep. Okay. So hang on, hang on, hang on. I think he's just pointing his gun. In the video from his body camera, Officer Melichick tells Hendricks to drop the weapon. Drop the gun, drop the gun! <laughs> Melichick fires one shot. Hendricks is hit in the abdomen. Another officer's dash camera video captures a different angle of the exact moment. On the right side of your screen, a witness ducks for cover. On the left, Hendricks is seen, the officer shoots, and Hendricks falls. Over the next several minutes, more officers arrive also with their body cameras rolling. Keep your hands out in front of you and roll over on your stomach. They approach Hendricks and call for EMS, who take him to Wake Med. Sir, we have EMS coming for you. Just listen to everything we're telling you, okay? According to a police report, the gun Hendricks had was actually an airsoft gun with the orange safety tip removed. And although in the 911 call before the shooting, Hendricks is described as a veteran having a wartime flashback, RPD says they can't find any record of his time in the military. All right, so tonight we reached out to Wake Med. We wanted to get an update on uh, the person, his condition, who was shot by the police officer. Uh, they told us he's no longer listed as a patient. Now, as for the officer, he's been put on administrative leave per protocol. The SBI is still investigating this shooting, so once they wrap that up, they'll hand their findings over to the DA for review. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.